Handy Hudson Knight here. How do you jump start a battery? I'm going to show you an easy and quick way to give your battery a jump, whether you go to start your car and the battery just does not turn over, or if there's some other issue related to your battery's um, voltage getting drained. And again, you want to make sure that uh, when you jump start your vehicle that you use safety precautions and just follow uh, my procedure on how to do this and get so you can get going again and I would highly recommend keeping jumper cables in every one of your vehicles I have them all in mine and it just puts you in a situation where you can not only have that for your own vehicle if you get stuck but you can also help out someone else there have been so many times where I've been able to help out other people with their vehicles just because of uh, having jumper cables in the car. So let's get into it and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, you wanna get a good pair of jumper cables and jumper cables are, uh, they have a positive which is red and a negative which is black. And what you wanna do is you obviously are gonna have two cars with two different batteries and what you want to do is you want to connect these before the engines are running so you want to have both cars engines off and what you want to do is in the um, car's battery that's going to provide the charge to the dead battery in the other car you want to connect it to that those battery terminals first now your battery has a positive and a negative terminal and it's going to look a little bit different for each vehicle and if you have covers over them you're going to want to remove those or push those back so that you can get access to these terminals okay so you want to connect the positive connector first to somewhere on the terminal where it's going to get good clean contact now if your terminals have um, buildup of residue or um, there's just you know, just different things on it that are going to hamper that connection it is going to affect it so let's get this connected on okay so now we have these connected again the red positive um, lead to the positive terminal and the negative or the black to the negative terminal. So let's get the other side connected to the receiving car. Okay, here we are in the vehicle that needs the needs the jump. And again, um, your positive terminal, and it'll be labeled in different ways. Sometimes there'll be a positive mark on the battery. Sometimes there's not. In this case, you'll notice that there's the positive cover and then we obviously have the negative side. So this is where we're going to want to be careful when connecting. Again, we want to connect the positive first, but so let's get that connected on. Now the negative, when you go to connect this, it may induce a little bit of a spark, and which is part of the reason why they have these rubber grips on here is for your safety. So please be careful when connecting this Okay, so we have, the, we have the cables connected to the vehicles. We have that. We have those connected on the car that's providing the power. And then we have these leads connected on the car that's going to be receiving the power to jump this battery. And so we have them connected. Notice the car's engines are not started yet. The order you want to start them is you want to start the car's engine that is providing the power first. And you may want to run that engine for a minute or two just to so that it can be sending that power over to the, the receiving car. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, try to start the receiving car. If it doesn't start, then you, what you need to do is actually wait maybe another minute for the providing provider battery car to provide that extra charge. Now some people may 
rev the engine and the providing car a little bit to provide more charge, uh, which you can do, that's fine. So after another minute or two of that, sending that power over to the receiving car, try to start the, the car with the dead battery again. If it still doesn't start, then you're going to want to look into other potential problems, whether it's with the alternator or the starter or some other issue with the car, electrical or some other component. And you'll want to have a professional look at it to see if they can diagnose the situation. This, this tutorial is mainly just to show you how to jump a car. And depending on the situation, uh, this is a very effective way to get a car going again. And once you start the car, you're going to want to run the engine for a while so that it can charge up the voltage of that battery again or to drive the car around for at least 20 minutes if you can to help fully charge, recharge that battery. So I'm going to start up the cars here and then we'll see how that works with getting this battery and this car ultimately started again. Okay, so I've started up the car providing the power and I'm letting it run for a couple of minutes to provide a charge to this one. And then we're going to start this one up to see if that's all it needs for getting the car running again. Now, again, you want to be extremely safe in this situation and when you go to start the car, um, you're going to be inside the vehicle, but make sure nobody is near the battery when you're doing this in case there's some sort of extra uh, surge or um, just in ultimate cases the battery were to um, compromise or explode, which is extremely rare, but you just want to take precautions. So let me start up this receiving car's battery to see if we can get it going. Looks like we got it going, so we have to remove the terminals, the cables, from the battery. And you want to remove the negative one first. Make sure these terminal, these cables don't touch each other. And then the positive. And then over here in the receiving car, same procedure. Remove the negative first, and then the positive. Okay, so that's how you that's how you can jump a vehicle using jumper cables. And then, like I mentioned, once you get them started, once you get the car started, run the engine for a while or drive it around for at least 20 minutes to get make sure you're. Uh, charging that, that battery. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And I will see you in the next video.